here at Fan Expo where there are a ton of lines for celebrities. It always makes me think of this interesting interaction between Mediocristan and Extremistan, which are two sort of economic realms that uh, Nicholas Nassim Taleb talks about in his book, The Black Swan. He's an, he's an economist who studies uncertainty in the stock market. Essentially, Mediocristan is thing, is oper operates in things like taxi drivers. They can only make as much money as they can physically transport people around, as opposed to people like authors or actors whose money isn't linked to their ability to produce physical things or physical actions. People, I mean, J.K. Rowling can make billions of dollars, but she only spends, you know, I don't know, 700 hours writing Harry Potter books. And those are just sort of appreciate in value. But cons like this, these two worlds collide, where you have people who are sort of famous in Extremistan, who have, you know, hundreds of fans or thousands of fans or hundreds of like Nathan Fillion is here with hundreds of thousands of fans and you're trying to put them in mediocre stand and get them to do physical things I mean you can only sign X number of autographs or appear in X number of pictures per day and so some people always wind up getting left behind it's just it's weird and neat I'm not sure that I have more to say about it than that but it's the only occasion where I've seen these two worlds really come together. I mean, and the result is gigantic lineups and sign-ups and a lot of people probably won't going home without anything. And, I mean, the stars make a... I, I imagine they make a reasonable amount of money off it. I mean, Ron Perlman's autograph is 50 bucks, which is pretty real. I mean, that's... So it seems like a lot. I mean, he's probably going to sign. I don't know how many today. But for an hourly, that's pretty good. Um, and I don't imagine they do it for the money. I mean, it's a great opportunity to sort of get to know fans on a more personal level. I mean, not personally in the sense of doing hangouts or things like that, but at least you get to see their faces and interact with them and shake their hand. And they get to see you smile and do something that isn't you on television and be yourself, which is kind of interesting because not a lot of them do YouTube things or, or, or vlogging where, where people get to see them as themselves anyway, uh, like, you know, John Green or Hank Green do. So that's my short VidCon, or VidCon, I still think I'm a VidCon, Fan Expo economics video. I don't know. It's something to think about. I might talk about it a little more later. But. Cause I'd love you even if we were being chased by a horde of zombies. I'd never leave you behind.